thank you to all of our presenters um, who showed up and showed out at this year's conference. Um, also like to thank all of our attendees for your support of this event uh, this year and past years. Um, it's invaluable and we, we hope that your support will continue. As we come to a close of the 2024 Out From the Shadows virtual conference, I wanna take a moment to reflect on, on the powerful conversations, ideas, stories we've shared over the past few days. If the space that we've created together where the voices of the forgotten, the rebel, the outcast, and the marginalized have been heard, honored, and amplified is not just a conference. This is a movement. This is a call to action and a testament to the resilience and courage of those who have been forced to exist in the shadows for way too long. We have shined a light on the realities many face daily, not as a fleeting moment of awareness, but as the beginning of a deeper commitment to change. Throughout our time together, we've explored what it means to be forgotten, to be overlooked by systems that are supposed to support us, ignored by societies that are supposed to protect us. We've heard stories that remind us of being forgotten. That being forgotten is not just about being unseen, but about being denied the opportunity to fully exist and to thrive. Today, we leave with a renewed commitment. We will not allow these stories to just simply fade back into the silence, but it is our responsibility to ensure that the forgotten are remembered, not just with words, but with action, with policies, and with persistent advocacy. Let this be our pledge. We will continue to see those whom the world has rendered invisible. For many of us, this conference has also been a reminder of the importance of rebellion, the courage to stand against systems that perpetuate injustice and inequality. Rebels are often cast as disruptors, troublemakers, or even enemies of the status quo. But here, we recognize that rebellion is a catalyst for change. To anyone who has ever felt the urge to challenge the norms, to break through the barriers, to speak truth to power, this is your time. The world does not change with complacency, but it changes with bold, radical, and sustained efforts to push for justice. We leave here today not as spectators, but as active participants in the ongoing work of rebellion against oppression. We also spoke of the outcast, those who because of their difference have been pushed to the margins of society. Whether due to race, gender, identity, disability, or circumstance, the outcast has often been labeled other as though their difference is something to be feared, erased, or suppressed. But today, <clears throat> we reclaim the power in difference. We leave this conference with the understanding that it is our diversity, our multiplicity of perspectives, and our collective uniqueness that gives us strength. Let us no longer allow society to determine who belongs. Instead, let us create a world where difference is celebrated and where outcasts are embraced, not despite their difference, but because of it. And finally, we've delved into the lives of the marginalized, those whose identities and experiences have been systematically suppressed by forces of oppression and discrimination. We know that marginalization is not an abstract concept. It's a lived reality felt in the policies that exclude, the economies that exploit, and the institutions that fail to protect. But this conference has been more than awareness. It has been about action. As we close, I ask, what will we do with what we have learned here? How will we take this knowledge, this empathy, and transform it into tangible change. True solidarity standing with the marginalized, not just when it's convenient or popular, but consistently, persistently, and relentlessly. It means creating policies that dismantle inequity, 
building communities that are inclusive and ensuring that justice is not selective. As we move forward from this conference, I want to leave you with this. We have begun a journey together, one that does not end when we close our screens or return to our daily lives. The work we've done here must ripple outward to our institutions, our communities, and our personal circles. We are the torchbearers for those who live in the shadows. And while it can feel overwhelming at times, remember this, change starts with one spark, with one voice, with one act of courage. The conversations that we've had and the connections we've made here are just the beginning. Now it's up to us to carry that flame forward. So I challenge each of you, whether you're an educator, an activist, a student, or a leader, to leave this conference committed to action. Ask yourself, what will I do to ensure that the forgotten, the rebel, the outcast, and the marginalized are no longer left in the shadows? Together, we can and we will create a future where no one, no one is forgotten where rebellion leads to justice, where outcasts find belonging, and where the marginalized are empowered to lead the way. I thank you for your presence, your energy, and your dedication. Now let's go forward with boldness, compassion, and unwavering resolve. The work begins now. Thank you.